Hi all and welcome back. Today in this video, let's discuss about operation types in Odo 40. So operation types allows us to configure rules for your routes. Uh, it is created for your warehouse automatically and in general, we do not need to modify it. So when you open inventory module, you'll be able to see in inventory overview some of the op all the operation types created like receipts, internal transfers, delivery orders, manufacturing, drop shipping and all. And we can see the warehouse name for your um, operation type, the number of uh, receipts to be processed. Like if it is internal transfer, then number of number uh, remaining to be processed, then uh, number in waiting state, late and number of back orders for each operation type, you can see that. Okay, and here when you click on three dots, you'll be able to view all ready and waiting receipts. Then new, new immediate transfer, plan transfer. Then we can also change the color of your operation type. So we can configure an operation type by clicking um, this configuration. Or under configuration also, we can configure operation types. And if you want to create a new operation type, we can click this create button to create a new operation. So let's open one operation type receipts. So here you can see, you can add, add a name for your operation type. So this, uh, what this defines, what kind of process this operation type will be used for. Uh, whether to deliver a product, receive a product or to make some internal transfer. Same thing. Then here we can add a reference sequence, then code, a short code for the operation type, then warehouse in which it is used, this operation type is used, then barcode, you can add a barcode for your operation type, then type of operation, what type of operation is done using this operation type. As I said before, whether it is a receive, delivery, internal transfer, or manufacturing. Then company name, you can add a company in which it is used, then Operation type for returns. We can add uh, the return operation type for this operation type. So I've added delivery order as a return operation type. Then we can show detailed show detailed operations. That if this box is checked, then the pickings lines will be rep will represent detailed stock operations. So if not, the pick lines will represent an aggregate of detailed stock operations. Then we can pre prefill detail operation. So automatically prefill the detail operations with the corresponding products, locations or lot of serial numbers. Then we can add traceability for the operation type that is to create lot or serial numbers. Then using existing lot or serial numbers. So when you enable this, uh, it will suppose you to want to create new lot and serial numbers. We can provide them in a text field. Then use existing serial numbers. So when you enable this, uh, you will be able to choose a lot and serial numbers that is already created or lot and serial numbers can be chosen. Uh, you can also decide to not put in uh, put lots in this operation types. This means it will create stock with no lot or not put a restriction on lot taken. Then we can add packages. Uh, here, when you click this move packages, so if ticked, you will be able to select entire packages to move. Then locations, we can add a default source location for this operation type. So as it is received, we are not adding the default location, source location. Okay, then default destination location. Uh, we can add destination location uh, so it is received so we have just added default location as stock we can also change while creating a transfer suppose i'm creating a new transfer so here i can add contact then operation type i'm selecting receive so you can see automatically destination location is stock then we can add a schedule date, then source document, assigned owner. Then we can add operations. We can add a product here. Uh, 
as we have enabled package in our operation type we can also add package here if necessary after that we can save this and mark as to do so this transfer will be mark as to do and we can validate this transfer so i'm just validating this transfer also the transfer is valid if you come back From here, let's group our transfers according to day. And here we can find our transfer. So this was a transfer that I have just created now from stock. From partner location to stock. And the name, name you can see that is the contact name. You can see that. Then against the status, this transfer is done. So this is how we create operation type, uh, configure operation type and create transfers. Then if you also create a purchase order, Suppose I'm creating a purchase order for customizable desk. I'm confirming the order and when you come to inventory here we'll be able to see 26 to process that is for this operation type receipts and below you can see a uh, receipt to be received in bag ready state and if you open this you can see that the details and from here itself you can validate it so this is how we create and configure operation types in Odo 40 if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to Odo at cyprosis.com